hypothesis. So hypothesis, uh, uh, hypothesis was uh, was a Greek mathematician who lived. Who can tell me uh, what year he was born? Oh, five thirty. Five thirty, very good. So five thirty, and he lived seventy, eighty years. So who can tell me yeah, what 50, year he? Uh, four fifty, very good. Four fifty B.C. So Hippasus was born in a place called Greece. He was a Greek mathematician, and he lived 80 years old. Uh, so the the contribution Hippasus made in mathematics is, is great. Uh, and today I'm going to tell you the contribution. And he was the first man in the history of mathematics who was uh, killed because of the mathematics. How did he get killed? Why they killed? Why they killed him? They killed him because he invented irrational number. Right, because at that time, at that time, this is the, uh, this is this is the time, uh, this is the pre-Socratic uh, time. The Socrates was born. Who can tell me what year Socrates was born? Oh. Uh, Socrates died three ninety nine, and Socrates was born uh, about what year Socrates was born? Socrates uh. died. About 400 BC. Oh, 470 BC. 470 BC. Uh, so on. 470 BC. So he lived about 70 years. All right. He lived about 70 years. So now he was killed. Uh, Hippasus was killed uh, because he invented. Did he, he invented the rational number, not rational number. Now today I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm going to talk about uh, even number. I'm going to talk about odd number and what makes it even, what makes it odd. I'm going to talk about rational number and I'm going to talk about irrational number. Also, I'm going to talk about the integers as well. Okay, so even number, when we talk about even number, we talk about a number that divisible by two, as simple as that. We are talking about a number that divisible by two. Now, can you give me an example of a number that divisible by two? Four, four. Eight. eight, negative four, negative six, negative ten. So many numbers. We just not gonna keep saying that. And instead, we're gonna use the notation. So, what would be the notation? Two C. Right. Two C is the even number. Okay. C is the number. Any number you multiply by two is become even. Now, can anybody give me an example of odd number? 2z plus 1. Oh, oh no, an example of odd number. 7. 7, good. What about negative 5? Negative 5. So, a, uh, a number that you cannot divide by what? Uh, two. 2. Because if you divide by 2, you're going to get what? Uh, decimal. Right. So, as you say, 2z plus 1. All right, what is the rational number? Rational number is a number, two integers, one on the top, one on the bottom. Can someone give me an example of rational number? P over Q is a rational number, right? P is an integer and Q is an uh, integer. integer. So these numbers, the Greek loves this number. Mm. Greek loved this number because Greek thought God loves this number. Right. Greek loved this number because they believed in God and because God loved this number. What's wrong with irrational number? Greek thought irrational numbers are evils. Mm -hmm. Because irrational because God doesn't love irrational numbers. Alright, so when we talk about Greek, not all Greeks understood math at that time. Right. We are talking about Pythagoreans. Pythagoreans are the people who are the believer of Pythagoras? All right, Pythagoreans are the student of Pythagoras and the school of Pythagoras. And Pythagoras was the man who is who gets credit for a squared plus b squared equal to b squared. A squared plus b, b squared equal to c squared. Very good. All right, you cannot get it wrong. All right, irrational number. So what is the irrational number? Irrational number is, can someone give me, all right, rational number. Can someone give me an example of rational three number? Three over five. One over two. Is this a rational number? Yeah. Okay, why is this a rational number? Integer on top and integer on top. Oh, no, you can divide it, right? Yeah. One divided by two is how much? One five. 
0.5. This is a good rational number. But is this a rational number? 3 over 2? Mm, yes. If this is a rational number. What about uh, 1 over 3? Uh, no. It's not a rational number because, can you write it? Can you write it 0.33? No. No, because you have to keep going. There is no ending. Does that make sense? Yeah. Can you write the square root of 2? What is the square root of 2, by the way? 1.41. Uh, 1. Okay, 1.41. 1. 4, 1. But does it end at 1.41? 1. 4, 1? No. Does it end at 0. 0.5? No. Yes! It does end uh, at 0. 0.5. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But does it end at 1.41? 1. 4, 1? <laughs> no. No! If you want to be precise, for example, if you have a square, like if you are a hypothesis, this is 1, right? Yeah. And the diagonal, what is the diagonal of this square? Um, because hypothesis was a student of? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. So hypothesis had access oh. to a square plus b square equal to? C squared. C squared. So he exactly knew how to calculate it. Mm. Okay. So hypothesis got square root of 2, right? Yeah. So if you uh, be uh, paying more attention, get a better ruler, all right? Get a better ruler, and um, the days you are not drunk, and you measure it, what are you probably going to get? 1.41. 1. 1.41 1. 4, 1 what? Uh, uh, 4213. Four. And then the day you get, you didn't drink at all, what are you probably going to get? 1.4142. 1. And you can be more precise and precise and precise and precise. But you're never going to get integer over integer. You're never going to say, well, that's it. You cannot be more precise. Can you say that? No. No. And that was a problem. Who didn't like it? The hypothesis. The, not hypothesis. Hypothesis was the man who realized that this is not a rational number. All the this people. is not a rational number. It could be anything. It could be... Anything but this is, is this a odd number? No. Is this an even number? No. Is this an integer? Is this a whole number? Is this a natural number? No. So what is it then? Uh, a rational national. number. And then a group of men took him to the ocean, ocean. and they said, oh, Mr. Hipposis, we're going to, there is a beautiful ocean. And let's um, take a walk. Mm -hmm. And if you are a math math mathematician, please don't. Listen to your friend. If they tell you, let's go to the uh, ocean uh, for a walk, or please don't go. So he posed us, friends told him, okay, let's go to the ocean. We're going to have a, a good walk along the bank of the ocean. They liked. They took him to the ocean and they drowned him to the river. To the, to the river. Ocean. Yeah. To the ocean. All right. So they killed him for inventing irrational number. Please don't kill anyone for, for doing math problem, okay? Don't kill anyone, okay? Mm -hmm. So our one of our main goal is to inspire you to fall in love with math and science so that you don't kill people for doing math. Right. Right, let's prove that. Let's prove why square root of 2. We know this is the square root of 2. How to get the square root of 2, you now see that this is the square root of 2. Now, we want to prove that this is not even number, this is not odd number, this is not integer, this is not a rational number. But it's easy to see this is not even and this is not odd. So what else we have to do? We have to show this is not a rational number. Because this is very close to look like a rational number, right? Oh, there is a proof? Uh, yeah, there is a proof. Mm -hmm. There is a proof. Um, I don't want to get my hand dirty. So I'm looking for the eraser. Okay, I have to get my hand ready anyway. All right, no problem. So, uh, pay attention. Uh -huh. You're going to love this proof. If you don't love it, then uh, something probably wrong with you. Okay, so, uh, prove by? Prove by contradiction. Uh, so, square root of 2 is equal to A over B. All right, we are claiming that this is a claim. The square root of two is equal to a over b, and a and b are co-prime. What is a and b? A uh, co-prime. A and b are co-prime. Meaning that a and b are in the form of one over two. 
What does that mean? The lowest GCB. Um, that w what would be the common factor between one and two? One. One itself. Nothing else. Can it be A over B is uh, four over two? Yeah. No. No, no. Because no. The GCB they are not co prime. Two. That's right. Yeah. Good. So can I square both sides? Yeah. I can square both sides. If I do square both sides, what do I get? A squared over B squared equal to? C squared. Uh, two. two. Can I cross multiply? Yeah. So A squared is equal to 2B squared. 2B squared equal to A squared, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now what do we get? A uh, long time ago, we said even number is equal to what? 2C, two two right? C. Yeah. If even number is equal to c two c, then what about two c squared? Because even That's also even, even squared is even, even, and r squared is r. Even r. 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 For example, five squared is r. Even squared is even. R squared is oh oh oh. That's the Greek people fault. They kill hypothesis. All right, now, we know that this is what? Uh, even. even. 2B squared is even. If 2B squared is even, then A squared also is even. Even, because it's equal. Oh, but then there's this is 2. Then we can write, then A is even, right? Yeah, so that means there's this is 2. Hold on. If, uh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. So then, then A is what? A is even. So, so then let's say A is even, right? So yeah. A is equal to 2C, right? Right. Because then we can say A is equal to 2C, right? Does that make sense? So then 2C squared, right? Right. Then 2B squared is equal to 4C squared. Right. So divide both sides by 2, what do you get? B squared is equal to 2? C, C squared. Square. All right. So that so, means they have a common denominator. So the, uh, we have this one is even. Okay? And we have now, what is it? This one is? Even. Even. So that means the A is even. And that means? B is even. The B is even. If A is even, and we said that A cannot A there should be no common factor between A and B except one. But if A is even and B is even, then there must be some common factor and that is two, two, right? Because two goes to even number. We said that at the beginning, if you pay attention. Right. So that, um, that, um, that, uh, that's a contradiction. That's what? Contradiction. Contradiction. So QED. So what do we prove? Is this an even number? No. Yeah. Is this an odd number? No. Is this an integer? No. Is this a rational number? No. What is it? A rational. Irrational number. So we prove that irrational number. Uh, irrational number. Uh, square root of two is an irrational number. What does that mean? That means the God is angry now. God probably will, uh, you know, uh, take some events in the form of cyclone, tornado, or hurricane, or I don't know, coronavirus, or things like that. But we have to tell the truth. If it is irrational number, it is irrational number. Okay, and 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 I know you know no, no the nobody. You should not believe that the God loves some number and God hates some number because you know the the mathematics is independent to the God. Right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.